Hey everybody, welcome to the NJ Elmar 2018 scavenger hunt. I'm doing a quick YouTube tutorial because people had a lot of questions. Instead of copy and pasting, I figured video is the best way. So just real quick, just to go over what the scavenger hunt is in general. If you ever done a scavenger hunt, you would receive a list. You would go out, say a tree branch in a forest. You would get the branch, bring it back to the host, and it would collect points eventually. Two points for this, three points for that. The person with the most points would win. Using the team environment, we've done it camping, boy scouting, girl scouting, and so forth. So this is going to be a motorcycle scavenger hunt where you'll receive a list. You go out, for example, take a picture with a state trooper. You go out, take a picture with your token gift, which you'll get on Saturday. And in the picture, it will be you and the bike and the state trooper, or just you with your helmet and the trooper. And you will upload it to a link. And in that link, I, the host, would go through, give you the points, and the person with the most points at the end will receive the prize. The prizes for this game I'll go over later, but pretty much essentially that's what we're doing. Different from a regular scavenger hunt is the fact that we're not really collecting items because we're on bikes, so where are we going to put it? So some items we may collect is, let's just say, McDonald's, grab a napkin. You can put it in your back pocket and bring back for extra points. But it's nothing bulky where you would have to bring a book bag or a car to store things to bring back to get points. So this is a picture slash video motorcycle scavenger hunt. So let's go over a few of the details about it. So pretty much who can play? Anybody who rides a motorcycle, 150 cc and up, and anybody who maybe had got injured but they have a motorcycle license and their bike's out of commission but they still have a helmet, a lot of the things you can take with your helmet if you don't have a bike right now. As long as you're a rider, you can participate in this. Um, it's a two-day event. What I mean by a two-day event is... We're not doing this for two whole days. So you get your list Saturday morning or whenever you do, and we're convening and meeting back Sunday for the barbecue. The reason it's two days is people have families, they have jobs, they have things they need to do in between hunting for items on the list. So this is going to be like a ride, scavenger hunt, go home, do your family thing, finish it off on Sunday, meet back for barbecue. It's all for fun. So... The plan is start on Saturday. On Saturday, once you've already went through the cash app, which you should have the link by now, paid your $11. It goes in the cash pot towards the first prize. And you either do a team, where it's you, maybe John and William, Team Kawasaki, for example, are together. You're not getting cash prize each. You're sharing the cash prize, the top prize. Now, you could be a duo, no more than two people, or you can be a single person by yourself. So you figure out which way you want to go. We have both in this one. So you pay your $11 on the cash app. You got to pay it by 8 a.m. Saturday. So we know how many people are participating in this. A lot of people ask, is there a prize? Yes, there is a prize. So although we're playing for fun, there are prizes. And the more people in it, of course, the bigger the cash pot is. So, of course, bring a friend. The more the merrier. That's fine with us. First cash prize is going to be $50 in bragging rights. Second place is going to be a $25 NFL gift card. Third place is going to be a surprise, because I don't know what it is yet, but it will be a gift. So what do you need to play? Of course, your motorcycle or your motorcycle helmet, for those who don't don't have a motorcycle. Um, of course, chest protector, gloves, you know, be safe about it. Don't be out there with t-shirts and flip-flops trying to get pictures. Um, let's see. I'm trying to read through my list. Start to finish. When do we start? 10 a.m. Saturday, we're meeting up at the McDonald's Vauxhall Service Center at the Garden State Parkway North in Union, New Jersey. So if you don't know where it's at, Google it. If you need help, just direct message me or text me, and I can give you directions. Once we get there and we meet up at 10 a.m., we're going to get a token. Let's just say I give your token is, let's just say, a mouse. Wherever you take a picture, that mouse has to be in your picture. So you can't take a picture, let's just say, of a state trooper from... 10 weeks ago and put it in the group because the mouse wasn't in it. This is to make sure that you're not using old pictures for the scavenger hunt. So you get your token, which is whatever. You get the list. So once you get the actual list, you'll go through it and there's points for each item. Now we have over 100 things you can do. Nobody, unless you have absolutely no life. Nobody's going to get all of them on a list. It's just, it's a lot. It covers New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. So it's a pretty big list, which gives you plenty of time to pick and choose what you want to do in a list. Once you get your list, everybody knows what the rules are, like no cheating. And if you do, don't let me find out. I don't care. <laughs> no squealing, no session. Please don't come and say, oh, well, Tom did this, and I don't want to hear it. We're all grown. This is for fun. So let's just go out there, have fun, take some pictures, upload it, have a barbecue at the end, and have a good time. So after everybody gets their list, 
we're going to do about an hour ride. And we'll probably either go north or south. We haven't decided yet or west. And we'll do a couple of things on the list. So I'm going to use the same excuse. I don't give out the entire list. Say one of them is a state trooper. If we see a state trooper along the way, we'll stop, ask them if we can take a picture. We'll have our token in it, the mouse or a motorcycle or both. And we will eventually, right away or later on, upload it to the link that you're giving on the piece of paper, which is the list. And once we do that, we go on to the next thing on the list. So you can do it all together. For example, if there's a state trooper and me and Grace, we're competing individually. We can still both get in the picture with the state trooper and we both get points individually for that same picture as long as both of our tokens are in that picture. And so you can do it as a group as far as the picture, but you both have to be in it. So that's pretty much it for Saturday. We'll separate. Um, I know some writers are getting off and available in the evening. I'll probably do like a part two, get together for an hour just to show them as well how to do it. Probably like around 5, 5.30. haven't decided yet. Um, when does it end? It ends Sunday, September 23rd. We're going to a writer private residence, which means I'm not giving out the address. <laughs> so we will meet up at a central location, which is on the website as far as where we're meeting up at. And we will go to, I will lead and head to her house. Right there, we'll have a barbecue, nothing fancy, just hot dogs, hamburgers. Uh, give me a chance to tally up the list to see who won, give out the prizes, and keep it moving. I'm um, just, as usual, do what we do at LMR. Just have a good time. That's pretty much it. And let's see. How to play. Ha, huh? the juicy details. Let me go through the list. All right, first, check your calendar. Make sure you can pick up your token on Saturday. If you can't do 10 a.m., let me know, text me, email me. We'll figure out when and where we can meet up. I'm in the Bloomfield area, so I'm not coming down to Central South Jersey to meet you, but if you can meet me halfway, more than happy to. Anything around I-78 and up. So um, got to get your token on Saturday. If you think you can handle it, get your token on Sunday morning. Let me know. We can meet up, and you can knock out the list by 2 p.m. 2 p.m. is a deadline. Now, 2 p.m. doesn't mean you're done and you're taking a picture at 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock means you're at the location. Because at 2.15, when we leave that location, if you're not there you have to forfeit your chances in the scavenger hunt. So be on time. Plan accordingly. Plan traffic. Don't go breaking laws. If you do, don't get caught. So make sure you're available. If you are free Saturday to pick up your token and you are free Sunday as well, which family is invited, of course, on Sunday to the barbecue, you can play. Uh, number two, decide if you want to do a team or by yourself. So you could be Lewis and Jay or riding together. You could be a duo. Pick your team name. Uh, you pay your money individually or together, you're good. You're in. Uh, the next thing, da -da -da -da, you pick up your token, which we talked about that. You'll be given a link to upload the pictures. You start gathering your points. It ends at 2 o'clock. You'll be judged as a winner. That's pretty much it's not that complicated. I try to make it as simple as possible. Um, the rules. Very important. So it's on the website, njlastminwriters.com. But in case you didn't go there and read it, I will recite it to you. <laughs> the first rule is remember to ride safe. As always, you know, I'm really big on that. I'm all for speeding and whatnot. But when it comes to a group setting, if you're around other bikers, know your role, fall back, take your time. Don't put other people in danger. Don't put yourself in danger. It's not that serious. So be careful. Get your points. Take your pictures. Upload it. Do what you got to do. Number two, the team stays together. If you're doing a duo, let's just say like Lewis and Jay is going together, both of them have to be in a picture. So Lewis can't do all the work, and Jay gets the credit. And you just use his token. You both have to be in a picture. Both of your individual tokens have to be in the picture. Number three, don't be a cryberry, baby. We already talked about that, so no complaining. Uh, number four, don't be a stranger. In regards to, we discussed that, you could jump in other people's photos, two photos for one, that's fine. You know, have fun with it. You're competing with each other, but you can still have fun with it. Number five, don't fight the law. And if you do, make sure you win. <laughs> so, you know, the usual no movie violations, trespassing, speeding and get caught. Sucks to be you. Don't let us find out. Um, and don't blame us for doing it. Uh, pretty much just be careful. Uh, number six, there's no appeal process. This isn't a democracy. It's a dictatorship. <laughs> so if you have a problem with this garbage hunt, of course, let us know. But if it's something really petty and stupid, we're just going to look at you funny. So don't even waste your time. Photo editing. Of course, there's no cheating. And when I say cheating, there's no Photoshop. There's no maneuvering pictures to make it seem one way and it's another. Just be honest. It's not that serious. It's just a garbage hunt. 
Number eight, all submissions and pictures must have a token. When I say token, it's whatever item I've given you on Saturday. For example, if it's a mouse, make sure the mouse is in all your pictures. For example, it's not going to be a mouse. But make sure it's something that'll be small where you can put easily on a bike. So don't worry, it's nothing big. So make sure it's in all your pictures. If you take a picture, let's just say with a state trooper, and the mouse isn't in the picture, the token, you will not get points for it. In fact, your picture will be deleted because you just wasted my time looking at it. So make sure your token is always in the picture. Let's see, number nine. You have two days to do it. Don't rush. Include your family and friends. Have a good time. Let them help you. Bring your family to the barbecue on Sunday. We're more than happy to have them. Uh, let's see, number 10, be creative. For example, if one picture requires a bird, picture with a bird, then from others, they've done frozen chicken in the supermarket. Some motorcyclists have done a parrot at a pet store, a pigeon walking in the street of New York, New Jersey, you know, eat a McDonald's chicken sandwich. So get creative with it. You don't have to do exactly what's on the list, but if it says a hat, it doesn't say what kind of hat, you know, it just has to be a hat. So don't be so stuck on exact words. Just be creative, have fun with that. Uh, number 11, all decisions by the judge are final. Self-explanatory. Uh, number 12, have fun because at the end of the day, it's all about the ride. It really is. Just the ride. We're all good people. Just having a good time. Um, the point system. So I have here that the point system is pretty much 10 points, which is relatively easy stuff. Uh, 20 points takes a little effort. And 25 points pretty much takes guts, brains, and effort which means it's not going to be easy. So, for example, get a picture of a certain sign that's probably like 10, 20 points. Because depending what the sign is, you probably got to pull over to take the picture. So it might be worth a little bit more. Uh, one of them is like get a picture with a New York Jets flag, which is fairly easy. If you can find one, get a picture, you, a selfie, the helmet, the token, or the bike. And um, that's only 10 points. That's fairly easy. But the harder they are, the more points they are. Let me give you an example of a 25-point one. There's a high roller section where it's 20 points and up. So one of them is actually 30. For example, a video of you doing the leapfrog with your gear and helmet on across passing in front of your bike. That's 30 points. Why? Because I'm not doing that. you got to be pretty brave to act that silly on video. But, um, hey, 30 points. Some people, it may be a two-point difference, and you doing that leapfrog in your motorcycle gear is the one that wins you the prize. So don't be afraid to act silly, make a fool of yourself. We're, we're pretty much family here. We don't care. Um, easy 10-pointers is like, for example, taking a picture in front of Boston Market. We all know what Boston Market is or McDonald's. So, for example, you would have, you could, most of these are selfies. So you get the camera, get the selfie. You can have your motorcycle helmet on or your bike is in the background. But remember, your token must be in the picture. So if you're doing a selfie with your motorcycle helmet or your bike, take the token, put it on top of your bike, or make sure it's nearby near your helmet where we can see it. We have to see the token, even if it's a selfie or picture of your bike. Trust me, the, the token is so small, it can pretty much just lay in the background. Nobody would notice it. So um, those are easy pictures. A lot of them, 99% of these are pretty much probably selfies. So that's what I mean. You don't have to be in a group. You could do them by yourself. So some, some of them, you may have to put the phone down and put a timer up and, you know, walk away and try to get in the picture real quick. But pretty easy. Another one is 10 points. Take a picture with a, a Toyota, a car. Make sure that the emblem, you can see it is a Toyota. So these are pretty simple stuff. But they're fun just to see, like, who's around what, who could do what. Another one, for example, okay, I have it in front of me, is the, for example, like one of these. I don't know if you can see it. So, make sure you and your motorcycle is a token. For example, speed sign. I don't mind showing you this because you don't have the token yet. So, <laughs> even if you did it now, it doesn't count because you don't have the token. So, you have to have a token. Let's just say you come across a merge sign or a speed limit sign. Make sure you take a picture with the bike in front or in the background or you and the token and that sign. Without the token, remember, there's no points. Um, so, that's pretty much it. So... Just going through the list right here. The reminders are make sure your token is in every picture. Make sure you upload your picture to the URL link, which, of course, nobody's getting until they get the list. Um, the link will be available for everybody to look at, so we all can look at each other's pictures once we're all done. And make it to the final destination, which is the New York Sports Club in Clifton by 2 o'clock p.m. In fact, get there at 159, just in case there's traffic. <laughs> I right, make sure you have fun. Grab a hot dog at the end. Let us know how it was, who did what. We always have great stories from when we get together. We always have tons of fun. And it's just another way to do it again, pretty much. Because after this, riding season is about not 
done, but it's coming to a close, starting to get cold, probably around end of October, November. So we just want to do as much as writing as we can, and um, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, just hit me up. And in summary, the scavenger hunt is Saturday, September, I don't know, is it the 23rd? Sorry, I have like 100 dates in my head right now, I can't. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, in summary, the LMR Motorcycle Scavenger Hunt is Saturday, starting Saturday, September 22nd at 10 a.m., and it ends at 2 p.m. on Sunday, September 23rd. So, it's technically a little over 24 hours. So, you pay your fee on the Cash App, you show up at 10 a.m. or whatever time you decide, you get your list, you get your token, you start your hunt, you gather your points, you have to upload. I'm not looking at nobody's phone. Make sure you upload it to the URL. Once you upload your picture, which is super easy, I'll show everybody at the meetup spot. Once you upload your picture to the URL link, you meet up at 2 o'clock on Sunday, so you can get them all done Saturday, do nothing on Sunday, or split it both and both. Meet up on Sunday, 2 o'clock, in a car, on a bike, doesn't matter. If it rains, we'll be indoors. Rain and shine, we're doing this. We all have lives, other things to do. Let's just get it done. So, 2 p.m., we will meet up by bike or car at the New York Sports Club in Clifton. There's only one. Google it. It's right next to Costco. Can't miss it. Right off of is that Main Avenue. I think it's Main Avenue. Don't quote me. I think it's on Main Avenue. So we're gonna meet there at two o'clock. Grace House is barely five minutes away. We eat, go through the list. It probably take about an hour, hour and a half to get through all the pictures and points, and give our prizes and have a good time and bragging rights, which we all know we love our bragging rights. <laughs> so that's about it. Have a good time. Any questions? Let me know. For first-time scavenger hunters, welcome. You will have a blast. For those who've done this again before, please don't be super competitive and ruin it for others who've never done this before. Just enjoy it. Teach others. Help others. Get in the pictures with other people. I plan on photobombing half of you guys, so don't pay me no mind. I actually will be participating because I did the list weeks ago and don't remember half the stuff on it, and I probably won't look at it again until I print it for you guys, but, um... Don't worry, I, I don't plan on winning because half the stuff I know I'm not doing. But I know a lot of people who will. <laughs> so just have a good time and any questions, hit me up. All right, ride safe.